Hello, everybody. This is Freda. I know I haven't uploaded a video on this channel. Excuse my mess. It's my tarot cards everywhere. In this channel in a while, the last video I did, um, I lost the, the footage of me finishing that flower. And then I'm looking for the book that I did the flower in so you guys can see the finished product. And I can't find it anywhere. It came out pretty good. So her um, instructions, I think it was Anna Mora and uh, one of my um, friends who's also a subscriber, she sent me the little Anna Mora um, watercolor um, brushes, the little tiny ones, and that made a big difference. So I want to thank Kim again. Again, Kim also had sent me these, and I want to say these are awesome. I am looking to get the big one of these ink um, tents. Um, it's like ink in the pencil, and I like it, especially for like doing hair and stuff like that. Um, I really like it. So I've been enjoying these. Again, Kim, thank you. If anybody's ever thinking about these, like really get them. Um, I really like them a lot. Uh, good for like kind of like underpainting too. Um, this pen, this white um, pen, it's the Uniball Signo. I really enjoy this white gel pen for highlighting. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show it to you, but this has been my favorite gel pen so far. Um, I got this at my art store. I wonder if they have these online to, to um, because I think on the art store, I paid a pretty penny for these. I think I paid like four four bucks for this. Um, and I've been loving drawing with these. Um, excuse all this. I don't know why they put a, a sticker up here. A buying sticker. I tried to take it off and it just made it a mess. I should have just left it on. But I've seen a lot of people using these. Prismacolor, um, color arrest, um, color erase pencils for drawing and I really do this is in red I want to get a blue one and like a violet purplish color one too so I've, I've been really enjoying to um, draw in that so what I really came was um, I have this idea for this kind of very simplistic um, tarot deck and um, I'm going to because I have I happen to have a deck of blank cards that I happened to get a long time ago from like this estate that was selling tarot cards or whatever and it's just blank regular cards it has the same backing as the old Rider weight so it's just blank cards so they're gonna be small so I decided because I wanted it kind of simple um, because as for the years that I've been doing tarot the older I get and the more kind of set in my ways, maybe that's how you say it. I, I used to love like very busy kind of cards, but now I kind of like it very simple. So um, I'm, I'm, and also to have like a word to kind of tie it up, because I have a lot of um, people who watch my other channel, which is um, Intuitive Retta, that learn how to read tarot just by watching my videos. Well, that's what they say. So I think that this deck that I'm kind of creating will kind of help them along. Um, it's not, I'm really um, working on a real type of tarot slash oracle slash Norman deck. But this one is just to get my juices running. So I needed some markers. Mind you, I, I, I don't have the money for those Copex. Those Copex are like... If you go to the site, I think they're like six dollars, but if you go to like Michael's, they're like eight dollars, um, $7.99 a pen, and ain't nobody got time for that. So, um, especially I don't know if I like them, but I think that these will work good on the card material that's already made for those cards. So, I got these, and these are called the um, a hoo hoo or hoo hoo. Um, I got them on Amazon and there were 80 of them for, oh, I left that thing, 80 of them for $37. So, uh, 
I get myself like one art supply um, a month. So here we go. Look at these. So not bad. This little container is not bad. Okay. So you guys look at. I think I'll get the Kopec like skin colors for now. Um, but who can afford? So, ooh, this is a good range of colors. Look at that. So there's 80 of them. And, ooh, this bag kind of stinks. Let's see. I have, I, I got a little pad over there to um, kind of check them out to see if they're good. Okay, so this is what colors are in this set. So it looks like there's a, a range of colors that are in this set. So, hold on, let me go get, um, let's just see, I forgot, ah, sorry about that, oh, let's see, let's just see how these are and how they work, um, let's see, so there's different, I'm gonna have to get them organized and stuff, but, they're pretty nice colors. Um, I guess they don't have the brush nib like how, um, let's see, I want to get a kind of pretty color. So, let's see. Okay, they're, they're not heavy. They're pretty good size. Let's see. Ooh. So, there's that one. Okay, so it's like a bullet nib, and let's see, let's see, oh, well, let's see, all right, so well, these aren't bad, um, I think I could work with them, let's see another color, what color is this, is this black? Let's see, this is black. Oh, that's a nice black. It's nice and dark. Let's see. I kind of wish they had the brush nibs. I've seen people that um, have changed um, the nibs. They have bought like the Copic marker nibs to go on here, but for three um, nibs for Co from Copic, it's like $6. So... I can kind of work with, I think they come with a couple of um, highlighters, so I think this is a highlighter. Um, I think these are highlighters, which they're not, well, wait, wait, well, they smell like alcohol. Well, this one does it. Let me see on the back. I think that's a highlighter. They come with a couple of highlighters. Let me look. Yeah. I think that's a highlighter. And I think this is a highlighter. Okay. Um, what the heck? Uh -oh. That was something I was working on before. I didn't finish it. It was a thought I was working on. Okay, let's see. Um, let me try green. So, if you guys are interested, I haven't looked at all of them. Ooh, that one's a nice green to see if they are, um, especially if you're new, like me, to markers, not to spend all that money on getting, um, but here they are. It's not bad. Um, not to spend all your money on, um, those expensive markers but it looks like they give you a good range here is like a range that they give you and it looks like a pretty good range um, there's a couple of I would think that these would be kind of skin tones maybe maybe that was a little orange so look at like these might be good skin tones one might be a little bit too orange um, I wish they had a darker brown. Like, these aren't very dark. Let me see. Oh, 
well, that one, it can get dark. Let me see if you go over it again. I don't know if you see it. So I guess that can get darker if you go over it again. Uh, I'm new to them, so I don't know how to blend yet. We'll see in a minute. Okay, let's see this one. Let's see. Oh, they blend nice, too. Look at that. They kind of blend nice, if you can see that. So, they gave me a good range of different colors. So, this was, I don't know if it's a hoo hoo or hoo hoo. And um, so far, I'm enjoying these. Um, I do believe they have a couple of, um, from all the research I I've done I, I know they put a couple of highlighters in here so um, yeah FO1 and FO4 yeah these are the highlighters so those aren't really um, probably I don't want those you can probably throw those highlighters away but not bad so minus those two highlighters this is 78 alcohol markers for $37 so if you're interested look at all the different colors um, and so I'm going to be working and they have, they don't have, um, names on them, but they have numbers on both sides and they do tell you with this little thing that that's where the little fine tip is and that. So I'm going to enjoy these. I'm going to make a simple, um, tarot deck with them while I'm working on my, my big ideas for my other ones. But if you're interested um i'll i'll look to see if i can find the link for these and i'll put it below but they come in with a, a even if this is your start before you can get into copex you know um start with these and then move into copex i think there's a, a learning scale on how to work with them but copex are really expensive these don't have refills or anything but um, I think before it used to be like they would throw all different types of um, a handful of different colors in there. But it looks like now they have it like a set colors that they're going to send you, which is good. So it's not so much as a um, as a surprise. So when I'm doing some of my work on there, I'll let you guys know so you guys can see it as I'm doing it. But um, I think they're pretty good. They're alcohol markers, $37. There was no tax on these either. I didn't pay tax on these. They were just straight up $37, and they came on Prime within a couple of days. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm sorry I have been neglecting you guys for a while. But, yeah, look at them. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. All right, talk to you later. Bye.